How do you set big, big goals and then how do you go about achieving them? All right, so another airport, another bit of travel. I think seven. I think it's like situational. Woke up out of bed, had to get an Uber early. My luggage nearly broke my back coming down the stairs. Now I've got to the airport, now I'm in the lounge, now I've got a coffee. Yeah, I, I think it's it's been elevated by context. Seven out of 10. So today we start to build the plan. You can't say you're gonna try to make an Olympics. You can't say you're gonna try to qualify. You can't say you're gonna try to go run pro eight without putting a really solid plan in place. Goal races, structure the training, months that you're gonna go to altitude, months that you're gonna go to sea level, testing, fitness tests, everything. We can start to discuss how I do that and then how you might do it yourself. Thanks very much. Thanks very much. This is my airplane over here. I realize I still haven't told you why I'm going to Boston. So I'm going to Boston to watch some races. Um, and then while I'm in Boston, I'm going to fly from Boston to Hawaii because I feel like there's, there's something to be said about starting a sentence with I feel like. Someone can tell me in the comments below what that means. Some kind of reverse psychology that you're not sure of yourself perhaps. But basically I'm going to Hawaii because I deserve a nice week's holiday because I've been working my butt off basically on the running master class. And yeah, I felt like I should have a little holiday. So there's some running races in Boston. There's also some running races in Hawaii. But I'm just training. No racing for me, but it'd be really fun to support some of the guys I train with in Flagstaff and also just get to see Hawaii. So you guys get to look forward to that in a few days time. Hopefully I'll be swimming with turtles. I also keep forgetting that I got quite a lot of new tattoos yesterday and they're pretty sore today. skins before I fly. Under Armour do a really good recovery sort of compression tights and it just helps with blood flow on the flight and it makes sure when you get off the flight you're not all Setting goals really helps. If you're training in limbo and you're not sure what you're aiming for and you're not sure what the next race is, it's, it's difficult to be motivated the way that you would be motivated if you had that goal. 
That goal makes you hungry, that goal gets you excited, that goal holds you accountable to your training. That goal says, I don't give a F that it's raining outside or it's windy outside or it's rubbish. You have that goal and you better get up out of bed and you better go do it. Make sure the goals are low key, a little bit intimidating so you really have to focus, but also remember that Goals within goals are what get you to the big goal. And so what I mean by that is you might have a goal that says, I want to run three hours for a marathon, but you're currently three hours 45. What you can do is you can map out a two to three year plan of how you intend to get to sub three by slowly chipping away. It's a big day for you. You've planned, it's a good time for your work schedule. You've planned a good course everything's looking really good. Let's say you then get to the four month build up, you've, you've got your time to 305, you've got there in two to three years and now this next one you truly believe that's gonna be your sub three. So you've lined up that sub three. How you structure that 12 weeks of training, you can set goals within goals. So what I do is I make sure most weeks, each week, which I call like a micro cycle, each week of that 12 to 16 week buildup has little goals within the bigger picture. So the bigger picture might be to break three hours, but the goals within that plan might be, this week I want to do yoga two to three times. This week I want to make sure I'm in the gym twice. And so I'll use little goals within the bigger goals and the bigger picture. My, my, sometimes my goals are just do what the coach says. Not all goals have to be performance oriented. Sometimes it be, can, can be psychological. Sometimes it can be routine. Just start to use goals. So, so important, so, so valuable. Okay, so we're now in Boston. That flight wasn't bad at all, felt pretty easy, pretty relaxed. I'm used to doing 10, 11 hours, usually from Phoenix or Dallas. So I think it was six and a half hours to Boston, which is really nice. So I hope you find that valuable. Use goals, start to use them in your weekly training, start to use them even perhaps daily. If it's, you know, a goal to do yoga today or do some of the strength stuff today, or maybe it's just a goal to hold back in your tempo session and do it at the intensity that you know will help. But if you start to include some of this stuff into your daily training and weekly goals, monthly goals, etc., etc., you're gonna find that races start to go better. Goals are brilliant for motivation and it's really, really gonna help. So the tip of the day is to start including some of these, whether it's a weekly goal, a daily goal, or a general build-up goal, Start to use these goals to help your motivation. Start to use these goals to help you hold yourself accountable to getting the training done.